my super mega G's this car that is right in front of me. It's a Bugatti EB110. And it's the only one ever made in carbon fiber. And uh, let me just explain to you what we're looking at right now because this is epic, epic. <laughs> So we were lucky enough that the owner showed up and opened the entire car for us and also explained to us everything that makes this car so special and so different. So number one, this is the only one with exposed carbon fiber body. There are other EB110 Supersports that had a carbon fiber body, but they were painted. So literally this is the only one that was like this. The other thing I wanna show you is, look at the detail of the carbon fiber everywhere here. You see the layers. Do you know why it's so different from what we see in today's day and age? Because this is literally one of the first three cars ever made with an exposed carbon fiber body. There was two McLaren F1 prototypes and then this car back in 1994, 95. So I want you guys to think about this timing technology. This is the granddaddy of all the Paganis, all of the Koenigseggs, all of the McLarens that you see in fully exposed carbon fiber. But either way, don't let me get distracted here. This is a Bugatti EB110 Super Sport. The end, it's a little bit different than the other ones, but I want to take advantage and show you guys every single crease in this car since they open the car this is something that's never gonna happen to us again Do you guys recognize that little grill so the new bugatti the chiron cento dece if you will is an homage to this car so that's why and that car is worth 10 if you want to buy a new one 10 million dollars so you can only imagine what this is gonna go for if the cool owner ever wants to sell which i don't think he will even right here for the water for your windshield it's made out of carbon fiber there's no space for anything so it's kind of like reminds me so much of the Pagani. You can't put anything on the front. There's no space, no storage space whatsoever. And this one doesn't have the side pockets that the Pagani had. Windshield wipers right here. I want you guys to come look at the back with me right now because this is where the party really is. This car, back in the day, had a 3.5 liter V12 engine with four turbos, people. That produces 740 horsepower. And this is not because they made it like that for everyone. This is a one-off type of deal that they did in this car from the factory. All of the blue that you see, all the anodized blue, all of the carbon fiber hose, everything that you're looking at is straight from the factory. And what I love about this the most is that the owner drives it and you can tell by looking at this wing, it's got some rock chips and he enjoys sharing it with the world. So I appreciate that on behalf of every single person that loves cars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This 3.5 liter V12 takes the car from zero to 16 about three 3.5 seconds. It's an all-wheel drive car and they were able to achieve that by reducing weight of all materials. So they added all these lightweight materials like magnesium and other stuff to this car compared to the regular EB110s. So they were able to keep that four-wheel drive because they wanted at some point to consider just leaving it rear-wheel drive. So that was a great thing because this is a GT. You're not supposed to drive this car like a maniac, although you can. It's a GT with insane performance, which is still true to Bugatti today. Now, let me go to the other side and show you guys the back because there's something very special here. Again, we're talking about a car and massive shout out to Alpha Looks, by the way. Massive, massive shout out to them. If you don't know who they are, go check them out. Also, two exhausts, two exhausts. And you see right here, there's a backup camera. That is from factory. And do you see how small it is? I want you guys to think, from 1994, when did you ever see a camera that small? That's some military stuff right here. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. The lines, the carbon, the weave, the everything on top of everything is just so epic and the best part of it all let me show you that interior which is called caramel for this spec the steering wheel comes in different types of variations this is the type of variation that this car came in with and as you can tell this car is immaculate the seats do move back and forth but that's all they do and i'm gonna take the liberty of sitting inside this beautiful thing oh my god oh, oh. 
I don't know, this is so much more special because they only made 120, 130 cars, something like that. She runs, Bay runs, they're making close to 500 in each iteration of the car. So this is way more rare. Now, I want you guys to look at the windshield from my point of view, it's massive. And the visibility is great. It reminds me a lot of the McLaren F1 without sitting in the middle. Another thing you're gonna realize here is that there's no mirror right there. So in here we have that steering wheel, that caramel steering wheel, and look at that. The revs, they go up to 10,000 RPM right here, but the car only redlines at 8,500 RPM, so you can't push it more than that. You have your, your cluster here for your oil, your water and oil temperatures right here. Look at this insanity. From back in the day, 250 miles an hour, 400 kilometers an hour, it's got 5,000 kilometers, which is about 3,000, 3,200 miles or 3,500 miles. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. On the right, and this, by the way, this whole thing right here is made out of carbon fiber, and it reminds me so much of of the F50, it's beautiful. Your gas, your watch, or your clock, if you will, hazards, all of the little tree is gonna appear right here for your locks, your AC, your defrost, all of that good stuff. Your windows are right here. And now look down here for your AC. I want you to look further down. That right here is a, it's a panel that comes out and it's for you to see your backup camera. And right next to it, we have a six speed manual transmission for this beast. Again, you gotta be really smooth on the throttle. You gotta know what you're doing so that you can enjoy this as a GT. It's not like anyone can just get in this car and just drive it the way it's meant to be. But let me show you something else. That's insane. So here, you don't even have a mirror to look at your wonderfully beautiful, good looking self. But right here to the right, we have some other stuff. So we have lights, parking for your gas, and also no ABS, no ABS. You can shut off your ABS in this car, which is ridiculous, ridiculous. You're driving an old school car. There's nothing, it's just you, the car and the road. There's no electronics if you want to kill that. And that's really, really scary. Really, really scary. There's some storage back here behind the seats. I don't think you guys can see much of it, but there's some storage right there. And the seats, the leather, the everything is so well taken care of. So this is a car from back in 1995. This is a legendary car that had a lot of technology because it's got electric steering right it's not one of those hydraulic cars that were heavy it's a car that used to be a gt like the most amazing gt ever made and guess what it was made in italy this is the only bugatti ever made in italy and the reason why the eb110 is called the eb110 is simple the eb110 my friends the eb110 means 110 anniversary of ettore bugatti being born so his 110th birthday was the release for this car that's what they were celebrating when they made this car and that's where the name and the number comes from for those of you who didn't know like myself again more events right there which i don't know how you're gonna <laughs> be able to reach but god god i'm just gonna leave you guys with that this is this is gorgeous, and I'm so glad that I was able to sit in this one-off in one of the most epic carbon fiber story cars ever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon.